of you who've never been to San Francisco, one thing you may not know is that it does stink. Mother's Day, we are amongst the plants. We are deciding among photosynthesizing. We're photosynthesizing. Luna came in from Idaho to visit. Hi. That's all I really wanted. But amongst the things I'm getting, I'm gonna be getting something to fix these. Uh, but that'll be a little later. Right now I'm getting a tour amongst all the plants. And apparently I'm gonna try to fix this thumb. It's it's a little it's a little brown right now. It might it might become green. My succulents are doing okay, but my succulents are easy. And I don't know how to grow any of these. So um, we'll see how they go. But I got like this box that will help me grow in front of the RV. So I'm really excited about it. And we're going around basically creating a menu. Anything we want to eat ends up in our basket. Yeah, that's how it's going. Lucifer, are you being mean? So rude. That dog is bigger than you. Yeah, hold me back. Hold me back. Just looking out on the vineyards. So we are back from the nail place, pretty nails, and it was great, except for my husband made the wrong kind of appointment and we got in trouble, in a lot of trouble, right, Luna? Oh, yeah. We got in trouble over and over and over again about how um, if we had gotten the right kind of appointment, then they would have had more time for our nails and we wouldn't have had to wait. Listen, I understand and I apologized and Chris... I'm not sorry. He's very sorry. They want some like mani pedis. I want to. I want to get him some mani pedis. Let's get him. Let's get him hooked up with some mani pedis. And we needed to say that we needed actual nail dips, so they have time for that. What the hell is that? Yeah, he doesn't understand what that means. Okay, listen. They need to understand that men don't understand things, and that they need to schedule some extra man time. Uh, just that that extra time for who knows what the woman might actually want. This is my suggestion to the nail industry. But other than that, I'm very happy with my pretty nails. They're pretty, my, my toenails are pretty, they're gel-like, and therefore, um, I will get a boyfriend. Yeah, you get a, you get a boyfriend? What? what? Your husband's not gonna like that. He's not gonna like that at all. Now we're going home to maybe play with our plants before we go out to a French restaurant. French, very French. Lucifer, that's not for you. That's, that's plants. That's the lumpy box. We have planted you. They are growing lumpies.
this for you. Still want to stay there, really? Okay. Yay, dirt. Oh, how's that feel? How's it smell? Warm. Oh no, my my nails. Yeah, don't don't. Oh, it smells so good. It's like fish emulsion. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I like it. I want to smell it. Ah, oh, my hands. This first still says yes. This is my spot. <laughs> You're hilarious, dog. Put it right there. <laughs> we figured it out. No. Yes, it does. We've created a staging area. This is where we plan to put them. So we've got to get ready to go to dinner. So this is probably not happening today, but uh, this is our planned area. This for what do you think? works for you? Yes. Is it a good idea? Okay. I'll do it. Are we going in there? Yeah. I think I can do it with the hands right here and here. Favorite pan because I like that spout right there. That was a raspberry bombay. That was pretty quick. Very bright, orange, and We like to get this party started, you know what I mean? And, uh, in watching you do this, I can observe one thing about you. What? I'm a pyromaniac. I like it. You're, you're, not, you're not a pyromaniac. Thank you. Thank you. You can't go to a French restaurant without getting in creme brulee. How is it? Awesome. It's got my schedule approval. All right. Great. How are you? You know what? When we came in, we had a bottle of stone soup with us. Bebe, banana ice cream and coffee ice cream. Oh, ice cream, not just coffee. Banana ice cream and coffee ice cream. I'm glad you clarified. In a, in a waffle cone. Okay. Nothing for you, buddy. This is for... Do the straight playing the, the Game of Thrones song. Good 
more impressive. Go, go, go. Go fast. Are you going to Alcatraz? Maybe. This, my dears, is Alcatraz. I have never been there. Hello there, ladies. Hello there. I'm looking at Alcatraz and a boat that I don't know where it's going. Well, yeah, look out there. It's the rock. If you look really, really closely, you can see Nicholas Cage. After a comparatively short argument over where the car was and whether or not we really had to go up that hill, um, we have found the car. There was no smash and grab, which is very typical of San Francisco, and I suddenly got super scared and made us remove everything that was not even valuable, but anything that might make anyone smash, and try, smash my windows and try to break into the car. Um, but it, everything is sound safe and sound and we are now on the road and we didn't have to go up the hill but we did anyway and it's good for our uh health listening to me skills it's good for our health and no one minds except for this guy i'm fine yeah he's fine i'm chuck maggiore hi i don't know, even know what that means either way we're on our way to take luna to the bye-bye to the airport after our time in San Francisco. No. And uh, if you're wondering what this white beard is, he makes me wear him. Luna had a, uh, Lumpy had a blast, Luna had a blast. Cat had like, you know, a small eruption. Not a blast, a small yeah, eruption. Small. <laughs> I actually had some very delicious banana ice cream. I highly recommend Oh yeah, no, that was great. We do not go to Ghirardelli, go to the other place that's cheaper and faster. And uh, what was it called? Well, you'll see, because uh, I took a video of it, but also um, it had serves orange, Mitchell's ice cream. My orange Julius was fantastic. Yeah, and the banana ice cream. I had coffee and banana, and the coffee was great too. It tastes just like coffee, but after the banana, like it was a letdown just because I wanted it's more banana. banana. It wasn't banana. All right, to the airport. For any of you who've never been to San Francisco, one thing you may not know is that it smells like Jesus. It, do, it does not smell like Jesus, but it does stink. Like, it smells like rotten fish and in lots of places. It's rotten sulfur now. Like, sulfury, yeah, sewage. yeah, yeah. It's probably sewage. And sewage, yeah. I don't know if it's poor, uh, I mean, it's an old city, so poor sewer, like, containment, slash, fishingness, slash, uh, it just has seeped into the bones of San Francisco. Now listen, I love me San Francisco. I it's grew up near San Francisco. Either. Yeah, it's not in every like neighborhood or anything, but in the wharf areas, there's there's a there's a waft. It's yeah, it's like don't get me wrong, there's a Sonoma aroma up where we live. But that's only certain times of the year. Yeah, this is certain blocks. You walk in one block and you're like, oh, everything's fine. And you walk in the next block and you're like, no, what is that smell? Yeah, but and that's all there. times of the year, though. Yeah, now it's fine. And you're like, oh, now it smells like a dead body. Yeah, dead body. Oh, it smells like dead body. So um, just be aware when you see the beautiful pictures of the colored houses. We can say colored houses, right? Colored houses um, of what? of uh, San Francisco, it might also smell really gay. Yeah, just be aware.
Love you.